Did you know that 70% of the seafood Australians consume is imported from overseas? Our own fisheries can't keep up with our seafood demand. This is causing bigger problems than we realise. While Australia has strict fishing regulations, we don't for imported seafood. So that imported seafood may fail to meet sustainable fishing standards. If the seafood is already cooked, like your fish and chips or your restaurant meal, which is more than half of the seafood that we eat, then information about where or how it was caught isn't needed. Your meal could have been sourced from an unsustainable fishery and you wouldn't even know. Tuna's also a really big problem. It's our most popular canned fish, but have you noticed that it's almost impossible to buy Australian produced canned tuna? That's because most of it's been imported. The tuna catch worldwide is staggering, 7.4 million tonnes in 2013. While all brands look similar, each have very different environmental impacts. But some species of tuna are not resilient to constant fishing pressure. For instance, southern bluefin tuna. They've been heavily exploited, almost to the brink of extinction. Their flesh is particularly high in fat, which is prized in the Japanese sashimi market. A single fish can fetch as much as 10,000 US dollars. Right now, the global breeding stock is reduced by as much as 97%. They're considered critically endangered. So they're not an ideal fishery species. Off Australia, in the Great Australian Bight, southern bluefin tuna are caught by per se net. The live fish are transferred to sea cages and these cages are towed back to sea ranching sites. Whole schools of young juvenile tuna are captured in nets and transferred to these offshore sea ranches. Here they'll be fattened until they're big enough to sell. Since they're carnivores and meat eating, they need to be fed wild fish as well as regular fish feed. For every one kilogram of tuna produced, they need to feed the fish 10 kilograms of food. Once fattened, the tuna are harvested from the sea ranches, but they're taken before they're old enough to reproduce. This means that these fish don't get the opportunity to help replenish their already critically low natural stock. Most of this Australian tuna is exported to Japan, and this high global demand drives some fishers to use unsustainable methods like the use of fish aggregation devices, called FADs for short. In the open ocean, there are not many places to hide, so that anything floating attracts animals. And that's what these FADs are. They're floating material that encourages marine animals to come to the area. But using these FADs means that other unwanted species are caught as well, like dolphins, turtles, seabirds, unwanted fish and crustaceans. These are all called bycatch, and as they're unwanted, they're thrown overboard, usually dead. Overfishing, illegal, unregulated and or unreported fishing are also huge problems when fishers chase big dollars. But what can we do about this? Well, swap to less endangered species. Skipjack and yellowfin tuna have sustainable stocks, whereas big eye and bluefin tuna are not swap to fresher local tuna rather than imported tuna. Not only is this seafood more sustainable, it'll also taste better. But for us, this is much harder than it sounds. Remember, most of the Australian tuna is exported to Japan. Basically, reduce your consumption of tuna generally. Eat locally sourced fish that's not tuna. Check the labels for how they were caught. Do your homework. Read the label carefully to see what type of tuna you're about to buy. Only buy seafood with labelling that tells you what the species is, where it was caught and how it's been caught. And a way to do this more easily is to buy seafood that's had the MSC tick. Ask your local fish shop if they sell MSC produce. The MSC enables all products to have total traceability. This means you can track what you buy from catch to plate as it's packed and frozen on the boat. This is an easy way to make sure you're eating seafood taken from a sustainable fishery.